Hey guys, in this video, we will learn one of the questions which is asked in many of the interview. That is, let's uh, assume that you have an array and you need to remove duplicates from that array. So let's see how we can do that. So first, I will create a main method. So I have already created a class, so we don't have to do that. So I will just create a main method. Okay. And here, I am just giving an array which will be int integer array. And because it's an array, I will give uh, two square brackets and then I will give uh, curly braces like this. Okay, and here I can give any number like 2, comma, 3, comma, 5, comma, 7, comma, 7, comma, 11, comma, 11, comma, 12. Okay, so if you see that, I've given some duplicates value here, like 7 and 11 are the duplicates value. So in order to resolve this problem, first we will think what are the different ways we can do that and we can choose any way. So what I'm thinking that I can create a different array which is a blank at the beginning and I will try to store all the values. I will pick these values and I will store that values in that array. In case if the value is getting repeated, repeating I will not store into that and in the end I will get a array which is, uh, you know, where there is no duplicates value. Okay, so there are different ways you can use some inbuilt functions also, but I want to make it raw so that, uh, you know, you can, uh, because the interview can ask you that you have to create the entire program, you cannot use the predefined functions to do that, or you cannot uh, have some set which does not allow duplicates, all those things. But that's the reason, like I want to go through a simplest way how we can do that. So what I will do, I will create one array list. Okay, so array list is something, a uh, type of a list. And that's an array and that we can add the values uh, on runtime into that. Okay, so for that I will declare here list and that is of type integer. Okay, and uh, here I will give some names. So I will say array list. Okay, and here I will give new array list integer. Okay, so here I have just declared one array list here and now I want to go through this array which I have defined one by one I want to pick this value one by one till my array get finished so for that I will create a for loop okay so I will say for int i equal to one or zero because the array index start from zero and then I will say i less than integer array dot okay and then I will say i plus plus Okay. See, right now I'm giving uh, value 0 here because this array starts from index 0. Okay. So when I say integer array dot length, so if you see that the numbers, I have the 8 numbers here. So it will give me 8. But the loop will go from 0 to 7. The reason is I'm giving less than here. Okay. That is the reason the loop will go from 0 to 7. Okay. So that's a for loop. And now what I will do, I want to compare each value which is can pick into the array list and I will say that if this value for example 2 exist in this does not exist in this array list it had to add that but it's let's say if there is duplicate 2 okay in the second loop it will see that the 2 is already there in the array list in that case I want to ignore it I don't want to add it so that's the way we can remove it so write it down the code I will say if and I will give a not here I will say array list Dot contain. So contains is one of the method in the array list which we can use. So I am saying that if this array list does not contain, what does not contain? This integer array value, the first value. Okay, I am giving i because the i will get changed in every loop. If it does not contain, then it will add this into array list. Okay, and it will add this value. Okay, and now in the second loop, let's see, I am on in this second loop, it will again pick this and it will see and it will do a comparison. So it will compare two with the array list, if the two exist in the array list or not. So in the second run, the two is already in the array list, so it will not go into the if condition and it will ignore it. Okay, so that's the way we can remove the duplicate. So very simple program how we can remove the duplicate. Now you can just print it. 
so system dot out dot print ln and here I can directly type the entire array list okay and now let's try to run it okay so you will see that now I'm getting 2 5 7 11 12 so it has removed all the duplicates from the array okay so that's it for this video thank you for watching